eighty percent of the time the person who is be who who is doing the offending in the eyes of the offended don't even realize that they're offending somebody else and the reason why they don't realize because they're only operating in our in, in an arena in which they have been taught they have been taught that from past experiences and past teachings and so what what one really needs to do in order to address the issue of church hurt is to take a really good look at themselves on a daily basis and ask this particular question in the morning when they're saying their prayers lord please don't allow me to be offense to anybody in our prayers and and by doing that we will then we will we will start our day with the right mindset go into our day in the correct mindset of how to address people that we encounter and that's the key to how to eliminate this thing called church hurt because church hurt is causing uh, a lot of things to take place one of those things that is causing to take place is the membership in churches today are dwindling for for a number of reasons one of the reasons is uh, millenniums are not even interested in coming to church because they've been offended by somebody who calls themselves uh, they, they call themselves or they call the millenniums call us churchgoers they've been offended they call us hypocrites, but you know what? This is what I say to that. They say this here. I don't want to go to that place where all them hypocrites are. And my question to them is this here. Where else should they be? I'm talking about the hypocritical folk. Where should they be? If there is a illness that you have, where should you go to get that illness fixed? It's at the hospital, right? But if there's a spiritual illness that you're suffering from, where should you go to get the healing? And, and, and hypocrisy is a spiritual is a spiritual illness. Saying you are one, but then being something completely different. That's a spiritual, that's a spiritual illness that the only place that that could be rectified or, or, or rendered, the healing rendered it to them is at the house of God. Of course there's going to be hypocrisy. All illnesses, all sins, it should be prevalent in the church. If, if everybody in the church is saved, then the church has missed their calling. Save the lost, heal the saved. If, if, if the people in the pews and in the pulpits are not going out into the streets to find those lost souls and, souls and bringing them into the church so that they can receive salvation and then, that they, and then that they, they can receive the healing from whatever's caused them to be hurt, if that's not taking place in your church, then your church has a bigger problem than you can even imagine. Amen?